My lovers and my lovers in need. Here's part two because I ran out of a little time on my uh, on my video in regards to you know loving your children and giving them love. Love, like I said, is very very essential for the growth of your children because love drowns out hate. When you don't have hate in your children's spirit, they won't give it out to the world. You understand? They'll be able to block it. They'll be able to to function better as a human being walking this earth because at the end of the day hate doesn't do nothing but destroy it breaks down it tears down it hurts people it causes turmoil but love love nurtures your soul love builds you love makes you better you understand when you're walking around with anger and toxicity in you it just blocks a lot of blessings for you and you have to be mindful of that so you have to teach your children the same you know no one's perfect no one is here to be perfect but you were made perfect your heart was made perfect but what happened was pain changed you you understand and when pain changes you it turns you into somebody sometimes that you don't even recognize. And you're sitting here like, who the F is this person? You know, as many a times I lost my shit many a times and tried to figure out who the hell I was after everyone that I loved inflicted their hurt and pain onto me. I had to do years of soul searching. I had to scoop myself out. I had to press restart so many times to, you know, build myself up. And at the end of the day, as I said before, Love is the only key. Love is the answer to everything. When you fill your children's heart space with love, it helps them grow into healthy human beings. Selfish parenting is not the thing. You have to remove all your selfish issues and understand that your child's future is more important than going to the club or turning up every weekend or freaking getting drunk and falling out on your face in front of them. Your children don't need to see that. Your children need to see love. Your children need to see how a real human being is supposed to act has to have is supposed to really act in this world. You understand? And you cannot you can there's no need in being hypocritical. Be very honest. Be transparent to them. I don't teach my children about, you know, the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus and all that crap. But I do respect everyone's holidays. I do respect everything that everyone does. I love to see when people come together in love. So when we teach our children that we all are individual spirits and we all operate on a different frequency, respect is key. You have to teach them respect. When, a, when you love yourself and you love yourself completely, you understand and you give respect to it all. And that is what you is very important to place into your children. I love my kids. They're all their own individual spirits. And I deal with every last one of them according to what's in their heart. When their hearts are, are matching with mine, I know that they're on the right track. But if their hearts are starting to feel like they're not resonating or not matching with my energy space, I have to correct them. You have to give them a little tough love. You have to snatch them back and let them know, listen, what you're doing ain't cool. What you're doing is not right. I'm not feeling that. You have to check your kids' bullshit at the door. When you see them doing things or doing things that's unloving, you have to check them. Because that's not, that's not healthy love. That's toxic love. Anything that's opposite of love and kindness is toxicity. And we cannot allow or uphold our children in that type of madness. If our parents would have taught us more, I'm sure that we would have became more. But just because you were not taught more doesn't mean that you cannot be more. And learn from me. Take it from my experience. I've gone through 30 years of abuse and I'm 40 years old. You understand? This is the first year that I can honestly say I have been fully happy. 2016 was awesome for me because it was my healing it was my healing time 2017 baby please believe blessings on blessings all day so teach your children love teach them to embrace love you embrace love because the more you embrace love the more your children will respect love you feel me I know you understand and hear what I'm saying. You cannot worry about the bitter parts of your life. You can't worry about, oh, my baby daddy done left me and he's this and he's that. F him. Let him have his karma. That's his business. 
But if you keep reacting to it and you keep putting yourself in a position to be angry, your blessings are going to get blocked. You better than that. And you're a mother. So you have to lead by example. You have to be the stronger person. You cannot allow weakness to tap into your strength when you are a mother. There is no room for that. I suffer with, well, not even say that I suffer. I survive, okay, because I don't suffer, baby. I keep moving. I survive with post-traumatic stress, anxiety, depression, disorder from, from the abuse that I encountered because I am a domestic violence survivor. Not once, not twice, but three times in my life. You understand? So at the end of the day, all of that made me a warrior. And my children respect it. And that's what you should be, a warrior for your children. Do not fall weak. Do not fall down into a ball and, and, and close life out. Because when you do that, you can't grow. It's okay to be in your feeling because you're supposed to feel. You're supposed to feel both your light and your dark. But it's what you feed the most that will, that will rise up. When you feed your love, it rises above all hateful things. Remember that. Know that I love you. I hope that this touches someone. I hope that, you know, this helps you in your parenting to let you know that it's okay to drop the ball sometimes. You just got to pick it back up and dribble down that court. Okay? So I love you. Have a blessed, blessed new year. This year, let it be full of love. Let it be full of growth. Because hate in your spirit, it don't do nothing for you but make you look ugly and then you pass the ugliness down to your children. So, mwah. I love you. Have a blessed one, everyone. And thank you, thank you for subscribing if you have. I love you. <laughs>